Minneapolis, the Minnesota Timberwolves lost two of their first players Sunday before locking in eighth place in the Western Conference, sources told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Gobert was escorted to locker room in the second quarter of Sunday's game against New Orleans Pelicans, 113 to 108 after arguing with Anderson during a timeout. Video of the incident showed Gobert and Anderson talking while standing at opposite ends of the Timberwolves band. The two continued to talk until Anderson said something to which Gobert made the exception. Gobert jumped over Timberwolves coach Chris Finch and then swung at Anderson, appearing to hit him in the chest. His teammates went to separate the two, including the Torian Prince, who pushed Gobert back. Gobert was then escorted to the back and some of his teammates, including Austin Rivers, went to check on him while he was behind. Sources told ESPN's Wojnarowski that the incident escalated after Anderson told Gobert, shut up, B. The dispute began when Anderson told Gobert to block some shots and Gobert told Anderson to get a rebound. After the game, Anderson said everything was competitive in nature. The nerve is flared, you're in the middle of game, a game we all want to win, huge game, Anderson said. You know, it happens. It's not the first time something like this has happened. Anderson, who replaced Gobert after incident at 423 of second quarter and started game for Gobert in second half, said that this was something duo could overcome. We will move forward, Anderson said. I mean, this isn't the first time someone has attacked me. I think our anger has flared up. We'll talk about it and move on. Mike Conley, who was Gobert's teammate in 2019-22 in Utah and Minnesota, after being traded to Timberwolves Online, described it as one of the most daring wins that anyone on team will be a part of. We could easily have splintered, Conley said. Whether you've heard the news about Kyle and Rudy or Jaden, it's like one after another. But he got more out of us. Conley added that Gobert sent a text message to the team's group chat apologizing for the incident. You're talking about the two guys in Kyle and Rudy, two of the biggest rivals you'll ever face, and honestly something is going on. Rudy will tell you firsthand, he's lost control and he's going to apologize for it. Especially late in the season like this. We can't let our emotions rule. He knows better. Kyle has challenged everyone. How it works. We have to be able to accept that and move forward. Tim Connolly, head of basketball operations for Timberwolves, said after game that team had decided to send Gobert home after incident. His behavior on podium was unacceptable, and we will address the situation internally, statement read. Conley said Timberwolves were 48 to 36 behind when Gobert came out of game and team focused better after event. Minnesota trailed into fourth quarter and took lead in first bucket of final quarter as Carl Anthony Towns scored a three-pointer on team's first offensive position after team took a double offensive rebound. Towns finished game with 30 points Anthony Edwards added 26 points and 13 rebounds to lead the Timberwolves to victory 8th place in Western Conference qualifying tournament. We dropped like 14 at one point in third and fought all the way in same quarter. Then KAT comes out and tops out in the fourth. That's huge, man. While Timberwolves can move forward give themselves two chances to qualify for the qualifying tournament, they will have to do so without McDaniels. McDaniels left the game late in the first quarter after injuring his right hand. Video caught McDaniels punching wall as he entered the tunnel, but it's unclear whether this caused injury. Absolutely, immaturity has been one of our problems all season, Finch said. We didn't mature at the wrong times. It probably shows why we were 3-9 or 3-10 against some teams where we should have been better. But those days are gone. I think we're playing the Lakers, so we have to go there. The injury, which will put McDaniels aside indefinitely, is a huge loss for Timberwolves, 
who are in qualifying game with Los Angeles Lakers. According to ESPN stats and information study, the McDaniels were one of six players to defend the 2022 to 2023 All-Stars at least 1,000 times this season. The winner of Wolves' qualifying match against Lakers will face second-seeded Memphis Grizzlies in first round of playoffs. The loser will play winner of second qualifying match between New Orleans Pelicans and Oklahoma City Thunder for right to play number one seeded Denver Nuggets.